Hello, and welcome to my review of the One Piece chapter 801. In case you don't know, I'm recapping the One Piece reviews I had missed in like quick and mini short review where I give my overall thoughts for the next couple, over the next like, past like year, I'd say. So, yeah, I'm going to do a release indeed over the course of the next like couple months. So, yeah, let's get into the chapter. So the chapter opens up with more Dress Rosa! Nah! Damn it, Oda. Okay, so we're still in Dress Rosa. Which is a nightmare, but it's arc needs to end. And I'm gonna get away from a stupid Totana. Because I hate the Totana with a passion. I have told anyone that I despise the Totana. No, I really do despise the Totana. I really despise those guys. No, but, um, what will we do here in this amazing chapter? Amazing chapter. And we have the first, like, five pages of Dracrosa garbage. On the, 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 Rosa, the country of passion, and blah, 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 blah. Peace in Dracrosa, all the crap we already freaking know that Oda is wasting his time telling us. Now, this is where we get good. The Dolphin may go speak. Who will be the one to rule the world? Who will be the one to win this race? Will it be one of the Shibukai? Will it be someone from the Navy? Will it be a Yonko? Will it be one of the worst generation? Will it be one of those little shits from the worst generation? Will, will it be someone from the Revolutionary Army? There were some crazy guys in there as well. Great feat. This is the Strong Ward. This is the war for the One Piece. Great! This is the war for Fire King. Great speech by the Open Lingo. Uh, you can, I actually, I did record a lot of reactions in this chapter. No faith in it, but I did record one. So if you want to know my initial thoughts, kind of go back to that. Great chapter. Great chapter. Then we get Bounty! Which I wrote down on my phone, but you know, I can't remember them all, but they're too many. Let's start off with the pirate captain of the Straw Hat Pirate, Monkey D. Luffy, coming in at 500 million berries. He got in a bounty booth, guys. Only took him this long. Not only a only 100 million boosts though. I bet it's bigger for taking down somebody like Del Flamingo. But honestly, I predicted 500 million, so I'm happy about this. Roanoa Zoro or Pirate Hunter Zoro with 320 million. I like it. Frankie with 94 million. A little bit low, but, and that does bother me, but I'll get to that later. Robin with 130, made perfect sense. She can read the Podoglyph. And she's improved power wise. She's very powerful. She can carry giant limbs. Worth it, though she didn't demonstrate abilities. Too many abilities that I think would on Jack and make her deserve that, but whatever. Oof, God, who stop 200 million? I'm sorry. It's not funny, Oda. Usopp having a higher bounty than Frankie is a little bit. It, it doesn't make that. I don't. It, he's Usopp. Why is his bounty higher than Frankie? Oh my god. Nobody in the government is freaking stupid enough to think Usopp is an actual god. I'm sorry. They're not. They're, there's no way Akainu is sitting at a desk and is like. The God Ustav is a legitimate threat. He has a snipe, a sniper. We need to eliminate his man as soon as possible. He was dangerous than the son of Dragon was two years ago. I mean, that's only 100 million lower than Luffy was two years ago. What the hell is this? I you think Ustav almost as dangerous as Luffy was? He does a load of BS. And Frankie at 94? And then Frankie was pissed off in the chapter. He was like, why is your bounty higher than mine? Why? That's being I'm stronger than you by far. That just, oh my god, it pissed me off so much. Let's continue. I don't agree with Frankie's bounty. Sanji at 170, Sanji at 177 million. Considering later events that will take place in this chapter, I'm going to let it slide. Not due to what I know of the current point of the manga, 
Because we don't know what's going on with, on with Nami Bounty, I will let it slide. Nami 56 million. Okay. I mean, she, I would personally have given her a bigger bounty increase. I think I gave her, like, I gave her 150 million. I spent it up all to break 100 million. I gave Nami 160 million in my bounty prediction video. I will link my bounty prediction video in the description box down below. But yeah, maybe I gave Nami too much. But she also wasn't there on Drift Rosa. She didn't make an impact that the government would notice. So it's clear that the only reason she really got a bounty increase was because all the other members have improved so much after reappearing. And quite clear that the Straw Hat Pirates underwent training and have all improved, so they have increased her by like, 10 million. Let's talk about Chopper, 100 berries. I was hoping the owner would get rid of the gag, but whatever. We all know Chopper is worth more. I'm hoping one day we find out what he's actually worth. And Brooke is worth, and Brooke is worth 83 million. Come on, what the hell has Brooke ever done since he joined the crew to care of the government? I mean, seriously, Brooke is... Brooke, no. Brooke does not need a new bounty. Yeah, so those are the bounties. But then, of course, at the end of the chapter, there'd be interesting revelation that Sanji wanted only alive. Very interesting. I totally don't know where this is going. But yeah, I really like how there's like a twist with it. How Oda's taking something as simple as the bounty and making a twist with it. That I really, really like. You're taking something incredibly simple like the bounty and making a twist. I like that. This was a 10 out of 10 chapter, solely for the fact that we have bounty. We have been waiting for the, think, Water 7. Water 7, according to my knowledge, Water 7 ended around the time Naruto, I think, released the fourth tale. And that did new extra better. That's how long ago Water 7 was. Naruto, the Naruto manga, when the One Piece manga entered Water 7, the Naruto manga had just entered Part 2. Part 2 ended before this chapter came out. Kijimoto published like four or five hundred chapters in the time span. We were waiting for these new bounties. This is a big deal when we get new bounties. Like, this is like four or five hundred chapters, and it, it, it's mind blowing. It's amazing, and Luffy been getting bounty increases. Like he, mm, Luffy, I, I bet I'm a little salty at Fifth Man Island, but my man Zoro didn't get a bounty increase, but the, Luffy did. I, I wasn't mad about it. I was a little salty, but I wasn't mad. I wasn't mad at Oda. I was salty in general. I was like, what's that? Give, give Zoro a bounty increase. He's Zoro. Come on, he deserves a bounty increase more than Luffy. He's improved so much. He's just toying with his Tony guy. He's stronger than the main villain. I mean, I'm pissed. No, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my quick mini review of One Piece Chapter 800 and 1. Hope you guys stay tuned for my uh, One Piece review when there isn't any One Piece chapter. So, yeah, peace out, guys. And unfortunately, we didn't have a chapter this week, but I'll probably do a stream or something. I try to do stream when there isn't a chapter, but I can't always promise it. I go to school. Sometimes I'm just too tired to stream. Sometimes I'm gonna play a couple of rounds of like Burning Blood, Xenoverse or something and go to sleep. Alright? Sometimes I'm just too tired to really do it. I'm too mentally tired to do like a discussion live stream. So I'm sorry about that. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comments that's in down below. Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more for more One Piece reviews. Peace out guys!